<laughs> uh, yes, welcome again. How can you keep a beginner's mindset in terms of productivity or how can that be related? The issue is most people have guilt in terms of the things they have to do. You are already set out with this guilt in mind when you start to think about the work you are going to do. And most people will start having these tasks that they have pile up uh, to a certain level that it is now too overwhelming for them. In the end, they are either not going to start at all or they are going to panic mode in order to finish whatever they are supposed to do. In terms of this question, we can go on to understanding how that makes you feel uh, when you have guilt on the work you are supposed to do. And already by saying that, it means you have shifted your mindset of how you wanted to do something. So you won't do it maybe the best of your way or you will, we don't know. Getting into work with a certain mindset can change the result that you are going to have. And as I've always been saying, productivity is an end goal and it is the journey that is important. How do I overcome the feelings of guilt about that? Uh, when you come into a certain situation whereby you have to produce something because there's a deadline, the feeling that you have is actually genuine. And this feeling will be uh, whether you're going to finish it or not, or the fear of what you're going to produce uh, uh, in the end. So therefore, the guilt we were talking about can only be overcome if we have a beginner's mindset to everything that we are doing. I call it a beginner's mindset because then your approach to doing something will be almost like a child's play all the time because you're thinking different ways to solve the problem that you have or to finish the task you have or to set yourself a goal besides the task. What do you want to do after homework? So what they want to do after homework is maybe more important than to do the homework. So they will try to do the homework quicker so that they can go and watch uh, Supergirl or something like that. And again, as you can see, it is a mindset that you put in approaching what you want to do in order to, to fulfill it. And therefore, the feelings, that agitation, that uh, anxiety, um, that uh, palpitation of every, everything that you have, that overwhelming burden uh, that you have will be not a stumbling block to what you want to do something that you can do at any time of course it, it anyone can do that anyone can do that but also a, a lot of us a lot of people will have problems attacking the pile of work that you have especially if the work is being delegated to you and it's a lot of it and you don't know which one to start with and when you are going to finish what to do next and all this piling up on you oh my god <laughs> uh, but I'm saying everything that you have to approach, you need to have a, a certain mindset. Uh, how do you deal with a beginner's mentality in the business, to thrive in the business world? And I'm thinking, this is, this is a good question maybe, because I think it does not matter your circumstances. It does not matter where you are. A beginner's mentality is to give you that drive, that drive to always be there, and the opportunity can only meet you if you're doing things. Because if you are going to procrastinate and stay at home the whole day, you are not going to meet that opportunity. If you're not networking, talking to different people, you're not going to meet that opportunity. If you did not send that 100 emails a week, just for those people who are in sales, you don't have that opportunity to meet someone who wants the services you are providing. So I believe that uh, a beginner's mindset in terms of productivity uh, is something that we should cultivate almost every day. I work with creatives and every time I look at things so differently, I can see most domino effects before others. I, I like to put myself in a place that I can actually tell 
inside my head what happens when I fulfilled A and I go to B and by the time I go to Z I have to understand that I'll have a problem on K. So by doing that I am giving myself the opportunity to think outside the box and also not to concentrate on one problem. It's going in and out having that helicopter view that I can try to understand everything the way I understand it. And if I can explain it to you or to my clients, then it means I have to simplify it. And by simplifying it again, I am trying to have that beginner's mentality that or how would I explain it if I didn't know anything about it. It's, a, it's something like a muscle memory because I still take myself uh, into that space where I can learn anything with them. So whenever they learn something, I try to learn what they are learning. To finish off, it is interesting that uh, we can have lots of things connected in terms of productivity. Productivity brings success and success brings wealth and wealth brings a better lifestyle. This is what this channel is all about and see you on the next videos that I'll be releasing every week. See you. Thank you for watching.